Hello everybody, it's Boaz Fader and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for Sunday, July 10th, 2016. I hope you're having an amazing weekend. And we start our Sunday, if you are in Europe, with a moon that's void, of course. It's still in Virgo, but it's going to enter Libra only at around 10.30 a.m. So don't start anything new. If we, even if you do have to start something new, and the moon is void, of course, remember you are more powerful than the stars. Remember you are above those kinds of influences. You are able to decide the choice is yours. It's just that if you are starting something new when the moon is void, of course, remember that the current, the stream, flows against you. And so our action needs to be more decisive. Our action needs to be more focused and, and more to the point. And, and we need to make sure that all the right details are there and be sensitive regarding any diplomatic issues and so on and so forth because we are working against the stream in a sense. But yes, we have the power to make it successful even if that influence or that influence in the sky works against us because we are a speck, a, 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 a little, you know, like a, a little flame of God inside this material body, inside this flesh. And we have this godlike powers within us. You know, back in the day, Abraham, going out of Mesopotamia, talking to God, being promised the, the promised land, the holy land, and God, and, and, and God was talking to Abraham, and Abraham was an astrologer. Abraham was an astrologer coming from Mesopotamia, and Abraham says to God, I've looked in the stars, and I'm not uh, entitled for a son or a daughter. I saw in the stars that I'm not going to be a father. So God tells Abraham, please stop with that mind frame. Not everything is in the stars because as a human, you are above the stars. And I love that concept. That even though we can see something in the chart, it is our free choice how we react to it. And what do we do with that kind of influence? And not everything is predetermined. Our lessons, oh, we will learn our lessons. But it is our choice if we want to learn them with a carrot in our mouth or a stick hitting our behind. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to the day. So the moon is entering Libra at around 10.30 a.m. Central European time. It's still Queen Kong uh, series, and that means that issues of uh, nourishing and how much we give and how much we receive from and to other people in our lives could be on the table. We could feel like we're giving too much and remaining empty, or we can feel like, or others can feel like we're not giving enough. Another subject that could be heightened today is our own health, whether it's mental, physical, emotional. The moon conjuncts idea, and this is a time that we can learn how to live a healthier lifestyle, whether it is on an emotional level or on a physical one. <clears throat> the sun is sextiling Jupiter. These are days of benevolence and optimism, blessed days in old traditional uh, terms. So really utilize them because doors are opening and we can do some progress and enjoy life during these days. The sun is no longer conjunct uh, Pluto, or at least it's moving away from the conjunction and we're heading to a much more benevolent and optimistic time. Mercury is not conjuncting or is moving away from the conjunction with Pluto as well and it's trining Mars. We can communicate our messages faster, we can absorb information faster, whether it is verbal or written, this is a great time for the passing or receiving of new information. So, I hope the week that begins would be a wonderful one for you. Thank you for listening. This is Boaz Fader. Goodbye.